Here is the one million dollar question. Should I polish this one? What do you guys think? Hello mga kalaro! Tara, laro tayo! And what we're gonna do today is whether to decide if I'm gonna polish this Final Fantasy VII Cloud Chrome Limited Edition figure. I got this from Mandarake for a very expensive price of 9,000 yen. And as you can see, um, it's already been tarnished by uh, oxidation. So I am not sure if this is the original original uh, finish of this one, but I see some some brand new or in good condition figure that are shinier than this one. So I am thinking if I'm going to polish this one using metal polisher. I don't think I need to use steel wool or any chemical to remove this uh, this oxidation as you can see. But let's see if we can clean this or we can polish this using a metal polisher. Just to be safe, I'm going to start with the buster sword. So anything happen happen to this one, whether it 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 shines or whether it doesn't, I'll stop from here. But if the results are good, then I'll continue with cloud. Most likely, I'm gonna pr uh, avoid this this part because usually, metal polisher uh, removes the gold uh, finish of uh, of chrome. So, so I'll just clean the I'll just use the metal polisher on the chrome parts. Or I'm not sure what the what what should I call this diecast or chrome. Anyway, let's see if it's gonna shine after the after the polishing hopefully i don't make any mistakes okay for cleaning i'm gonna use some metal polisher um a rag and a used toothbrush actually this one is a new one <laughs> but it's cheap toothbrush the one they give away in the hotels so i'm gonna use it to brush uh the the metal and then wipe it with the with the rag so first one we, we need to put the metal polisher apply the metal polisher to the die cast part and brush it brush it thoroughly the reason why i'm using uh, a brush so that it can go to the the deep part or the detailed part of the of the figure hopefully this one cleans or reaches the those hard to reach places so we just keep brushing i i don't think it's gonna gonna break the figure if we we scrub a bit harder okay we just keep on brushing as you can see the it's reacting to the to the metal polisher okay just keep on brushing and uh, oh no it's still the same so I, I'm just gonna keep on wiping but I think it's it's starting to shine but there are still uh, dark parts so let me just continue and let's see let me do this two or three times and let's see what's the final outcome. After three application of chrome polisher, it looks like uh, the method is is promising. As you can see, the the diecast part is now shiny shinier than than the original uh, original uh, condition when I received the this item. So. Since this is promising, uh, I'm gonna continue with Cloud and hopefully the outcome will look great. So for now, we just gonna brush the metal polisher to the figure. After a few scrubs and one application of chrome polisher, 
here is the outcome it's not that perfect but at least there is an improvement with the with the condition when I got this item so I'm happy with the result maybe I'll try again once I get my buffering machine I'm gonna try again to polish this figure since we have already this item, might as well continue with the review, with the review of this figure. Um, this is very unknown figure for me, especially I, I am a Final Fantasy collector and this is the first time I've seen this figure. That there is a chrome figure of this one. I know the, I know the, the, the Coca-Cola one, but this is the first time I've seen a chrome one a die cast one so when i saw it i researched about it and yeah i bought it well anyway this one came from a line called fantasy chrome figures uh they released 23 characters and it is limited to 3000 figures each so for cloud there are 3000 figures uh, uh there are 3000 clouds out there chrome clouds out there mine came Mine is number 555. That's a good number. So anyway, um, so 3000 cloud, that's very limited. That's why these figures are very expensive when you purchase them online. They ranges from $140 to $200. Depends on the condition. They came in a box like this one. This is, this is supposed to be white. But due to aging, it turns to off-white. So, I don't know if there is a, a manual, but this is what I got. Um, as you can see, this, this, there's a price, 9,000 yen. Very expensive, but I think this, I, I already got a bargain. Because when I check Cloud Online, he ranges from 140 dollars to 150 dollars so for i think i got this for about 80 dollars if you convert it into to two dollars if you have the the coca-cola cloud i think they share the same mold they're about the same size same mold same at the back also as you can see oh, even even the the details they're they're the same Okay, they just have different stand and uh, this one is made of chrome okay and this one is made of rubbery plastic or PVC and it's painted okay there is also a, a transparent one released this one okay. so this one shares the mold of this one I am not sure how much the SRP of this figure when it was released but if you want one now you're gonna have to spend a bit more final thoughts on this figure um, it's a very expensive figure uh, for those who collects uh, Final Fantasy 7 memorabilia especially cloud uh, fans out there this is a must-have but if you're not and you just want a uh, good statue for your collection I don't recommend this one because it's pretty expensive uh, but I'm just joking if you see one if you can afford it then buy it <laughs> it's a it's a good figure it's a good in it, it's a good for your display like I've said I'm really I am really a fan of this mold if I can hoard every mold of this one I'm gonna hoard them so anyway I think that's it for the for the Final Fantasy Cloud Chrome collection. Till next time. Bye-bye.